friends welcome to my channel let us discuss how to draw the projections of a given rectangular plane so here for example i am taking this is a rectangular plane okay why we are calling plane is it has width it has height it has negligible thickness okay it is looking like a line okay thickness is so that's why only two dimension that's why we can call it as plane rectangular plane i am giving the name for this rectangle is a b c d for the corners and here take the given dimension sides of the rectangle is 70 mm and 40 mm as we know it has two longer sides of equal length it is 70 okay here i have written and then 40 mm so this side and this side is 40 mm okay let us take the other given data 70 mm and 40 mm rests on its shorter side in the vp okay so one of the shorter side is in the vp whatever given data is there i have written here also rectangle dimensions are written here so shorter side rest in the vp same thing i have written here and then and the surface makes 45 degrees with the vp and then the shorter side of the plane is inclined at 60 degrees to the hp just write down the given data after that assume the position of the plane take the first quadrant okay this is the first quadrant this is the vertical plane this is the horizontal plane and the line joining both planes vertical plane and horizontal plane is reference line we can call it as xy line also okay and the angle between vertical plane and horizontal plane is 90 degrees so always remember this is the first coordinate whatever planes we are taking it is in the first coordinate okay this is our plane here what has given before doing any planes first take the sentence here the given sentence shorter side rest in the vp okay so it has two shorter sides we can take any shorter side it is in the vp okay, it is in the vertical plane like this okay now here according to this sentence okay take the entire plane is in the vp okay it is a shortcut form of keeping the position of the given plane keep entire plane in the vp okay take the first sentence shorter side is in the vp means you have to do the entire plane rectangular plane in the vp okay but we have we have to start the plane from the shorter side because he has given shorter side is in the vertical plane okay if he has given let us assume if he has given longer side is in the vp means the entire plane is in the vp but you have to start longer side from with the longer side but you have to start with the longer side take one more example hexagonal plane okay one of the edges in the vp means you have to do the hexagon entire hexagon in the vp if if uh, in the question it has given one of the corner of the hexagon is in the vp means you have to do the hexagon start with corner okay so hexagon should come like this it is the shortcut form of doing the plane in the vp or hp let us take one of the corner of the hexagon is in the hp means you have to do the entire plane okay polygon in the horizontal plane like that you have to take shortcut form what here according to our second data shorter side is in the vp means we have to assume entire plane is like this start with shorter side so this is the position of our plane we need to do the projections of it first we have to take the front view in front view we can see the entire rectangle okay so in the top view if you see from top like this it is looking like a line on xy okay the line length is width of this rectangle here okay on the xy so first do the front view what we are doing for doing the projections we are tilting this horizontal plane in downward direction like this we are doing in 2d form okay so this is the front view orient view as it is take the dimension and do this rectangle so instead of capital letters for front view we are marking a dash b dash c dash d dash okay and here this gap is not given we can take any gap in the question it is has not given okay and this is the front view and top view means just do the projector lines okay and both a and b come at the same point and d and c should come at the same point okay? so we can mark a comma b here and here c comma d make it dark as always remember the front view and top view should be in dark color compared to the projector lines so this is the assumption first assumption the entire plane is in the vp we are taking next take so this shorter side is in the vp and after that surface is making 45 degrees with the vp okay so here we are doing step by step take the next step surface is making 45 with vp okay we have to combine these two at this shorter side the surface is making 45 with vp so this plane is this shorter side is in the vp only it is making 45 degrees angle this is 45 with the vertical plane okay like this the top view we can see the line is making 45 degrees okay whatever this line is there 
it is tilting like this 45 degrees what we are doing means we are doing in next diagram next assumption okay now here take any one of the point this shorter side i am keeping as it is in the next position okay ab we are keeping in the vb only you can see the entire width is making 45 degrees here so what is this point i am giving new position a1 b1 okay both are at the same point take this width mark here okay cd c1 d1 now this is the top view now here for marking the front view like this so here initially it is rectangle this rectangle is tilting so if you see from front the rectangle size will be reduced okay we don't know how much rectangle is has reduced that's why we have to make projections here projectile lines we have to do the projectile lines for finding the final front view just do the projectile lines here at this points so this is a reduced rectangle okay mark the same points instead of a i am taking here a1 dash this is b1 dash this is c1 dash this is d1 dash doing this front view top view in the sheet first do the xy line of any length here already i did xy length now after that make this rectangle this gap is not given you can take any gap here so this is 40 this is 40 this is 70 okay this line is a reference line so after some gap take here 70 mm long line width 70 mm for getting the perpendicular line just i am taking this set square should coincide with this line and then keep the scale here okay move the scale up and down for getting the 4 cm okay, so that here angle is 90 okay, 4 cm and then do 7 cm line I am using roller scale for getting parallel line just join this end points Mark the corners A dash B dash like that A dash B dash C dash D dash This is the front view uh, For top view do the projector lines And do the top view It should be in dark color Join these two endpoints. Make it dark. A comma B here. Here D comma C or C comma D. Okay. This is the first assumption. After that, whatever length is there, it is making forty-five degrees here. Okay, take any gap here between two diagrams. So here I will take this point. A one comma B one. Okay, this is as we know this is seven centimeters. Take 45 degrees line. This is 45. So in this direction. Okay. This gap here we are keeping. So this is C1, D1. Here do the projector lines. Here also do the projector lines. Take this line is a reference line. This is the reference. Mark the intersection points A vertical line, A horizontal line. Take this is here we are giving A1, here A1 dash. So here A points we are giving, here A1 points we are giving. Okay, for front view we have to keep with dash, B1 dash. Here C horizontal line, C vertical, C1 dash. D vertical line, D horizontal line, D1 dash. 
make it dark this is the front view of this rectangle when it is making 45 degrees with the VP doing these two positions in the sheet the next data is the shutter side is making 60 degrees to the HP if you are taking the position of the plane okay like this initially it is like this now it is making angle here okay now the shutter side is making 60 degrees with the horizontal plane this it may be like this this side is making 60 degrees with the HP okay now here what we have to do whatever reduced rectangle is there it is tilting 60 degrees Just take any gap here mark instead of b1 mark b2 b2 dash for front view take, take this is b2 dash at this point take 60 degrees line so in this direction do the line mark here this is a2 dash after getting a2 dash b2 dash here what i am doing i am taking 90 degrees line at both points so how to take 90 degrees so as you know for this it is 90 so keep one of the scale coincide with the inclined line do the 90 degrees line like this okay, this is this is 90 okay and then here also do 90 degrees line take the same set square keep here like this At B2 also do the line. Now by using compass take this length. Take this length. Okay. Now this length and this length is same. That length. This length on this line as well as on this line. Do the intersection points C2 dash D2 dash. Join these two points. You will get the reduced rectangle. For getting the final top view, just do the projector lines at all points, and from here also do the projector lines. For doing the vertical projector lines, take this as the reference. Take the scale. And from here also do the lines take xy line is a reference line now here take the intersection points a vertical line a horizontal line so intersection point is here i am giving a point here a2 dash we have marked like here a2 i am giving similarly b vertical line b horizontal line this is b2 Next, C vertical line and C horizontal line, this is C2, okay. And then D vertical line, here D2 vertical line and D horizontal line, here I am giving intersection point D2. Join all these points with the help of scale. AB, BC. CD AD Okay, this is a final top view. This is a final front view. Okay, here this is a first assumption, second assumption, third assumption. So this is a final front view and final top view. And make sure all front views top view should be in dark color compared to the projector lines. And in exams and in sheets you have to use only pencil don't use pens sketch pens for getting the clear view i'm using the pens and the sketch pens also mark the given dimension here and mark the angles also and other projections of planes video lectures also we did i will give the video link in description box please check it thank you for watching